On your marks. And we are racing here at Lake Las Vegas for T100, the sixth stop on the T100 World Tour. On the bike here. I still want to know whether it was whether it was Yala or Fred who got that last position in this group because it was both of them who were struggling to hold on. It, is, it does look like Yala, doesn't it? Oh, no, it's Justice. Wow, great swim. Great swim. That's, oh, that's Heli Geens now, so he's in that next pack. I think he's in a purple cap, so... Yeah, well, they were all fighting for that last set of feet, and that's Maxie Newman there. So for Max not to make a, a front pack, you know that it's hot. Wow, Josh Amberger didn't make Amberger. it either. Amberger, wow. wow. <laughs> this Josh, Josh Amberger is a perennial favorite in the front in the front group, so this is it, truly on today. Here's Sam Long, the man himself, um, coming around. We'll see what that time gap is. Uh, big gap, but it will not stop him from trying. This is really tough. Wow, it is three minutes. So we've got Henry Schoeman, Aaron Royal, Martin Van Riel, Alistair Brownlee, Justice Nashling, and Mark Dubik at the back of this race. The big thing is how hard are Martin Van Riel and Alistair Brownlee going to ride? Are they going to give anyone else from that chase group even a chance to come back up to the front of the race? Because if they, if they don't, if they don't let up, if they just push hard, no one's going to come up to them, so it's really up to them. This is interesting. Um, Martin Van Riel electing to put on on socks, so he must be fairly confident in his transition in this first section of his his bike. We don't we don't see that a ton. We see that Alistair Brownlee has gone to the front of the race here. He's gone past Henry Schoeman. We would expect that. Alistair definitely the strongest cyclist of this front group now that Martin Van Riel has dropped back. He's riding crazy aggressive, actually, as we see Sam Long. He's made his way out of the water. This is the all-important time check. This point right now for Sam Long can be day over. He's a very good cyclist and a very good runner, but this gap could be big enough that his day's already done, so we need to wait and see how far it is. Five minutes and 39 seconds is the official time gap out of the water. So there it is, the moment Alistair Brownlee was handed his second blue card, two in two races. And as soon as he's in that little white square, time starts. You saw the official click that top right-hand button. That is the minute penalty for drafting that Alistair Brownlee has started to serve. Go. So we're seeing for the first time today, Justus Nyschlag is taking the lead from Martin Van Riel. Again, I think this is great signs for Martin Van Riel and also says a heap about the athlete that Justus is. Clearly, he belongs here on the T100 World Tour. We're with race leader now, Matisse Magiera. Looking super strong. He, of course, got out of the water around 30 seconds down in that chase pack. Henry Schumann's pulling off the course. That's a DNF for sure. He's just cut the course, and that there is the entry into the hotel where the athletes stay. So that's day done for Henry Schumann. This is the best we have ever seen Jason West riding, seemingly coming out of the blue after, after such a tough year. But I think that this is just Jason West at his best. He he is riding hard though, Rennie. On our screen right now, we have Peter Hemrick. He's making his way around the, the Jason West group, just about to come a, a, around to the front in front of Max Newman here. We do know he has the 30 second penalty to serve at the next penalty tent for not putting his swim cap correctly into his T1 transition box. What's happened here? Did you guys see a penalty given to Max? I, I did not see a penalty, so. It's obviously drafting to be served there. It's clearly a minute penalty for drafting. I'm he looks pretty relaxed though, doesn't he? Right now, he could not be in a better position with 16.8 kilometers to go on the bike. He finds himself out in front. Only Matisse Margirier able to hold on. They're about 30 seconds ahead of the chase group. It's what we've been waiting for all day, right, Rini? It kind of feels like we've been in a lull. Martin Van Riel has slowed down at the back end of this bike ride, as has Mathis Margerier. And the reason why is because they know this moment has been approaching. T2. This run course we've talked about it all day. It is savage. 500 metres elevation. Short, sharp climbs. Short, steep descents grass, dirt, it's relentless, it doesn't give up. 
We have Martin Van Riel here, who has shown that he is the strongest runner over 18 kilometers both times he's done the distance. He won Ibiza, he won San Francisco. He looks cooked. He looks like that bike has really taken it out of him. He hasn't looked like that entering T2 at either of the races he's done. That doesn't mean he's not gonna run well. It just means that was a tough, tough bike ride. And he's about to face a tough, tough 18 kilometer run. Because he put those socks on in T1, he gets the early jump out of T2. His big rival right now, that man just to the left of your screen, Yala Gaines. Yala Gaines is known for being one of the fastest 5 and 10k runners in the sport of triathlon, and he looks like he is exploding out of T2. That quick little mishap turning the wrong direction, but look at that gap he's already put on Mathis Margerier. Two brilliant runners. We've heard about Jason West potentially having a bit of a run injury. Whether it's actually affecting him today, whether he's in pain, we're not sure. But Nico the man and Jason West, two of the strongest runners. I don't want to say bad because he looks great, but of the two, Yala Geens looks like the one that's full of running. And just like that, he's taken the lead. Yala Geens takes the lead here at T100 Lake Las Vegas up the second climb of the day. Can Martin Van Riel hold on to him up the climb? Wow. And look at Van Riel's body language. Look at that. You see him put his head down. He just... He just looks like he just doesn't have have it today. Oh, Jason oh no. West cramping as we speak. So that is really, really disappointing to see. This happened to him in Singapore as well this year. He had the stomach cramp issues. I'm not sure if he has anything else, but I saw him just grab to that sort of right-hand side of his stomach. This is built for them. And, well, we're seeing oh, a little oh bit no. of a... And he's fixing up his lace. It's... Okay, well, this may be a... This may be I a worthy he... investment of time, having a shoelace come untied. You can see how steep that climb was there with that camera angle as well. It is brutally steep, that climb. That's the steepest climb on the run course. And Justus Nierschlag, he's done it. He's made the pass. He's on debut here at the T100 World Tour, and he finds himself on the podium in third position. What a day. What a day for Nierschlag. Justus Nierschlag there moving into third place. Majiria does not have a response from this pass here, so Margeria moving into fourth place. This is the steepest climb on the course, and you can see just how much faster Peter Hemrick is running compared to Matis Margeria, who has struggled up this climb every single lap so far and bled quite a bit of time. And just over the crest of this climb, Peter Hemrick does make the move into fourth, so that's a big move there from Peter Hemrick. Man Van Riel still sitting back there. It's, it's not by any means game over for Martin Van Riel. But Yelligin's looking so composed. He's relaxed, he's in control. This is not his max effort yet. He still has some matches to burn, some cards to play, so to speak. These men have been training their whole lives for these moments. This is just the opportunity that he's been given a wild card here at the T100 Lake Las Vegas, thumping his chest, pumping his arms, these are the days that we live for, Jack. He knows he's won now, Chelsea. This brutal last 350-metre climb to the finish line. Yala Gaines on debut at the T100 World Tour. He kind of lost his way a little bit in short course racing. He wasn't the beast he used to be. He had some mixed results over Ironman 70.3 racing. But Yala Gaines today here on debut at the T100 World Tour has found his home. The emergence of a star. Yala Gaines wins T100 late Las Vegas. Not only did Yala Gaines win on debut, he beat the man that no one else has been able to beat this year. Our T100 San Francisco champion, our T100 Ibiza champion. Two wins from two starts at the T100 World Tour. Martin Van Riel, second place today after three and a half hours of suffering at Lake Las Vegas. There's a new rival in Martin Van Riel's life. His name's Yala Gaines. Second place, Martin Van Riel. Big, big things ahead for him. Look at that big smile. It's well earned. So Peter Hemrick, he was in a battle for the podium all day with Justus Nieschlag. That 30-second penalty being served. But Justus Nieschlag on debut here at the T100 World Tour. Third place, and you saw, jumped across the finish line, ecstatic with his performance here today. And boy, oh boy, what a performance it was from Justus.